Hey everybody, so I wanted to talk a little more about some of the problems I've been having with work. There's been somebody in particular who's been just kind of making it more difficult. Um, it doesn't really get to me so much anymore because I've decided to leave the company, which my reason for leaving isn't just, isn't because of him really, it's mostly the drive. Um, the drive, or uh, how long it is to commute to work, I mean, not my drive, I have all the drive. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's the issue, this fucking guy. Um, so there were some red flags when I first started, and being a girl in the trades, you're kind of, people always, or guys always talk about, like, other girls who, like, came in and caused all these problems, and honestly, I'm starting to believe that that wasn't even, most of the stories I've heard probably weren't even true. Um or they were probably perceiving it their own way. Um, like, I mean, I'm sure that probably has happened before, um, but it seems like more of a way, a manipulation tactic um, to get us to not be uh, outspoken on our opinions and to not stand up when we're not being treated right um, or when they're talking shit about women constantly. We're supposed to just uh, go along with it, I guess. Um, I have learned over the years, honestly. Like, at first, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm different than other women. Men always try to tell you that. They try to give you compliments, and they are like, oh, you're not like other women, blah, 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 when they're actually insulting your gender. Not really. I mean, I guess they think they're giving you a compliment, but it it really seems more like manipulation because they almost want to like separate you from other women or they want you to not like other women um and kind of take their side on everything <clears throat> but in this case this guy I work with Chris kept coming up to me and he's like you don't get offended by everything do you blah 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 blah, blah. and I'm like no <laughs> like what kind of like why do you keep freaking bugging me about this um it was annoying and I was just kind of you know I was new didn't want to cause any issues so I was just like whatever um and then and he would just kept saying more inappropriate things to me um he kept he would talk about how like a woman a woman co-worker who works in the office is like sucking the boss's dick and that's she gets favor and it's like well I mean if she was which she's not like she may be getting favor because she's pretty and she's a a woman um but if you're upset about that why would you be talking shit about her and not about the system or not about the person that's favoring her wrongly um or unfairly because of her looks um I'm not sure why that's her fault. Um, is she supposed to, like, be uglier or something? Or, I don't know. Um, or quit because she's getting favored? I don't know what you want from her, but you should really stop talking shit about her. Anyway, um, this guy frustrates me so much. Now, it is, it's built up. Like, I think I've been working there about three months now. So, um, there was that, um... And at one point, and so I would, you know, try to, like, work with him and stuff. He's actually the shop foreman. There's another mechanic there who's super nice. Um, he's just a really nice person in general. Um, I really appreciate him. And I enjoy working with him and talking to him. Um, and, you know, I don't mind talking to Chris all the time either. But it's really just I don't want to talk shit about women. Like, I don't know why he would think I would want to talk shit about women. I don't know why he continues to bring it up around me. I've made it clear that I don't like that. And I wasn't rude about it. I was just like, hey, I don't appreciate this. You know, I feel like there's a lot of funny jokes out there that don't involve talking shit about women. And the fact that he chooses the ones that do, especially around me, especially if there's another guy there. It's almost like he's showing off what he can get away with saying to me. Um, and he thinks I'm not going to do anything about it. <clears throat> so another thing that happened when I first started is this motherfucker cornered me 
to fucking and like if he starts out with oh you don't get offended blah 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 and I'm like no and I'm like what do you think you're gonna say that's gonna like offend me so much so we can you know address it right now right, right here right now um but then he just I think he's got some issues mentally honestly and maybe he's smoking too much weed at work I'm not really sure what's going on with him up there um he starts going on just like talking about sex and whatever and like I don't really care like I don't mind talking about sex like it's whatever like I joke about sex all the time um it's not a big deal but then he like starts just going into detail about his sexual relationship with his ex-wife and like making her squirt and stuff and like I don't like I'm not coming here I'm not driving 50 minutes to get to this job getting paid $12 an hour to hear about you making your ex-wife squirt. Like, I just, I don't really want to hear about it, honestly. I don't know why you're trying to tell me this. Um, it was kind of uncomfortable because he's just, like, sitting there talking at me, like, about this. And, like, if we were working together or something and, like, we're actually doing something and he's just casually, like, talking about it, like, he just wanted to get it off his chest, I guess that would be another thing. But he's, like, taking my time and focus and, like, really trying to engage me in this conversation that I don't really want to be engaged in like if it was something I was just like casually hearing like I don't fucking care but don't like corner me and like tell me this nonsense um <laughs> it's a waste of my time like yeah I get paid by the hour but still um and then whenever somebody asks me or asks him if he needs anything when they're going somewhere or whenever the snap out on guys come and everything he's like yeah I want a 5'8 blonde with blue eyes and or yeah with blue eyes and I forget what else but it's like what do you want a 5'8 blonde with blue eyes and a nose ring too because I'm exactly 5'8 um and I think he'll go into more detail that sounds like he's describing me and it's like I don't, it's just kind of annoying. It's like, you know that you shouldn't be saying that shit. Like, come on, like, fuck off. Um, ugh. It's, and it's not just like one interaction. It's a bunch of little interactions. Um, he, he really enjoys working with me, but I feel like his motivations are not appropriate for wanting to work with me. Um, he really wants to teach me stuff, um, which he does. He, uh, let me take apart a differential and he'll teach me stuff here and there, which is I do really appreciate that um, And sometimes like we get along great, but it's like He just kind of keeps like pushing and pushing and I try to put up my boundaries and he just keeps pushing and um, I just he have to hear all this nonsense all the time like oh Like and it's just just so constant like if it was just here and there like I'm might even be able to laugh at it if it's like actually something funny but most of the things they say aren't funny they're just straight like blatant disrespect um and then he gets upset if I don't laugh at it and he's very sensitive to how I react to what he says um it's really like working with a toddler in some ways <laughs> Um, he is, yeah, he's crazy and it's annoying. And I confronted him again because there was one day that I almost left. Um, we were working with the guy that I'm training, me and the guy that I'm training were working with Chris. Um, and he just kept like talking about women, like negatively and, um, saying jokes that were really not funny, honestly, and just degrading, like, <laughs> um and I was I kept like snapping back at him you know and just like making it clear that I'm don't like that which I already have but I try to make continue to make that clear I guess um and then he just kept going and kept going and was all this like oh women are all you know what they say about women they're all the same face down I was like you have a daughter Chris I was like that's fucking disgusting and I I honestly at that point like he just been pushing me so much like I was done like I don't I don't want to deal with that especially like I chose to get into that career I chose to take that job I choose to drive 50 minutes to get there I'm not gonna choose to put up with that shit like I had to grow up hearing that from 
my piece of shit ex-brother-in-law. I'm an adult now. I don't have to deal with that. I'm not going to. And I almost left, but I went out and I got in my truck. <laughs> and then I thought about it for a second. I was like, I'm pretty close to getting health insurance here. And I don't really want to get fired. Like, if I leave, I want to quit. I don't want to get fired for leaving in the middle of the day, even though my manager might understand. But I don't know. Um, I don't want to act immaturely just because he is so I came back and I just started like doing other work away from him and I helped the other mechanic and everything and then the next morning he kind of came and talked to me because he knew I was upset with him um and I had thought about it like I had actually kind of decided about quitting that day I was going to talk to my manager about it um and then Chris came up to me. He knew I was upset. He's like, how are you doing? Are you doing okay? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I don't think I could work here anymore, Chris. Like, I'm tired of this. Like, why do you go out of your way to talk shit about women? Like, I told you that I, I don't appreciate that. Um, and, like, why is it so necessary for you to say those things? Like, um, like I feel like you hate women because of your ex-wives and you're taking it out on me and I don't deserve that um like I get it like you've been through what you've been through but you know I'm not I don't I don't deserve it um and I made that clear and he kept trying to be like oh they're just jokes blah 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 and it's like there's a lot of other jokes out there that are actually funny what you're doing is blatant disrespect Chris like I was very upfront with him I and I was like don't spin it like I don't like jokes because <laughs> I don't mind joking like um fr like fuck I worked in construction for like six years I traveled around with a roofing company like I'm I'm used to you know all sorts of different jokes but his were just like so freaking pointed um and it was just frustrating so uh after that he's like no we love you and like you know we think you're doing really well and we really want to, you know, train you and, um, to be a mechanic or we think you're going to be a really great mechanic someday, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, thank you. And I was starting to get a little choked up. Like <clears throat> my nose was starting to run. Cause I was just like, so like angry <laughs> and, um, like just having to have that conversation, like brought back so many things that I've had to deal with. Um, especially growing up and everything and um and it's really honestly it's hard to like have to stand up for yourself like that at work and um yeah so I just I was like thank you and then I walked away <laughs> which I kind of feel bad for but I was trying and then I had to like I was trying to wipe my nose with my shirt but it was like a button up and so it wasn't working um so I had to go like wipe my nose um and then I thought about it and I was like, well, I guess I'll stay at this company. <laughs> and because I, I felt like things had been taken care of as like, I felt like he was going to just, which I really don't feel like what I was asking him was really that hard. But um, and then he, it kind of seemed like he was going around and talking shit about me to other people. Like, saying that I don't like jokes, blah, 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 I'm an asshole. No, I don't think he was saying I'm an asshole, but I think he was trying to spin it. Like, I'm just get offended super easy and all that. Um, Because the other mechanic confronted me about it. He was like, hey, uh, Chris said you got upset with him. And I was like, yeah, I was upset with him. <laughs> I was like, this is what happened, you know. I just, you know, I, I didn't appreciate it. And... So I told him about it and he's like, well, I mean, he said something about like, you can always come talk to me or you can come work with me like before it gets to the point where you're going to go to HR. And I don't know, like, I don't really see a point in going to HR. Like, I'm not saying that if you do that, that the, that's the wrong thing. That's just not really what I felt like doing in this situation. Um, I didn't feel like it would help if I like, I don't can't see me continuing to work there after I like got him in trouble or got him fired because he's just not emotionally capable of handling that in a mature way it seems like um 
And I feel like it would be weird for everybody else at that company that I worked with if I was the one that got him in trouble or got him fired or anything like that. Um, and I'd rather talk to my manager before I talk to HR and be like, hey, this is going on. I want somebody to know my side of the story. So, because I feel like Chris has honestly probably talked shit to him and I don't know. I feel like it would be good just for somebody, even like if I do quit or whatever, I'd at least want somebody to know my side because I feel like he's just going to go around being like, oh, we can't say this, blah, blah, blah. She's such a jerk. <sighs> anyway, yeah, so that's what happened. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm going to quit this company anyway because the drive. Um, and I think honestly, just the drive and the pay in general, like it was really affecting my attitude towards the job. So I already kind of had an attitude of like, this isn't worth my time or it's, this isn't worth it. Um, so then like any bullshit on top of that was like, this is a definitely not worth my time. Um, like, the bullshit to pay um, an experience and opportunity is just, like, way out of balance. Um, yeah, so. <clears throat> but honestly, the, the reason I'm quitting is more the drive than anything. Because I can keep putting up with Chris, like, especially now. Like, I feel like I get him more. Like, he's just kind of a little crazy and he's got some issues and... You know, I'll continue to tell him when he says shit that's not okay. Um, and, like, we kind of are friends. Um, he made me a blanket for Christmas, which I really appreciate. Um, and, like, I'll, like, decorate his toolbox. Because he said how he hates women decorating and stuff. But anyway, um, I think he actually really wanted me to decorate. So I did. And... He didn't take it down, so I think he liked it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I did try to build a friendship with him and get to know him and everything. Um, and, you know, I'll tease him about, like, not, like, anything hurtful, but I'll just, you know, I'll joke around with him. And um, he really does, like, need a lot of attention. Like, it's like he tries to get my attention a lot. So, like, I'll go out of my way to, like, joke around with him and stuff and, um, you know, give him attention. But yeah, it's, that whole thing is kind of ridiculous. Um, and I don't know, it would be kind of annoying when I had to work with him more when I become an apprentice, which they did want to make me an apprentice sooner. I really hope I get a new job soon because now that I've, I've recently made the decision to leave like a couple days ago. And so I'm just like, mentally checked out you know like I just don't want to be there anymore I don't want to drive there anymore I don't want to deal with people that annoy me <laughs> anymore yeah but anyway that's what happened with that thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe if you want to see more uh if you have any questions feel free to comment thank you